Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I call Mac Ducey. I the House. Uh, <coughs> members, this debate has concluded. The question is that the amendments recommended by the Social Services Committee, my majority, be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. Party the vote. Party votes called for. Ask the clerk to conduct the party vote. New Zealand National. 58 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 30 opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 12 votes opposed. Māori Party. Act New Zealand. One vote in favour. United Future. One vote in favour. The, 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 um, <coughs> the senior whip, I understand, is, uh, doesn't have instructions. So he's, uh, hence there's no, uh, no call from the Māori Party. Uh, members, the vote is uh, the ayes are 60 and the noes are 56. The amendments are agreed to. <coughs> the question now is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Aye. Ask the clerk to conduct the party vote. New Zealand National. Oh, well, hang on. Just no. The, um, we're in the voting process, and the member, the clerk's called for the vote. The phone call comes second. So. New Zealand National. Sorry, I didn't hear the vote. Sorry, Mr. We are we are we are voting. We are voting on the motion, and the we're voting on the motion, and the clerk has called for parties to exercise their vote. I'm asking the clerk to start again. Thank you. New Zealand National. 58 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 30 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 12 votes opposed. Māori Party. Act New Zealand. One vote in favour. United Future. One vote in favour. Members, the ayes are 60, the noes are 56. The motion is agreed to. A point of order, Chris Farpoy. Mr uh, Speaker, can I just clarify with you, um, I understand it is the right of the Māori Party not to vote, but how that will be recorded, how that, that non-vote will be recorded? Well, it's not recorded. We're only, we're only recording those votes that are cast by the various parties. And um, so uh, a party doesn't have to exercise their right to vote and uh, some abstain, uh, some parties uh, may not wish to vote. And so in this case, the, the senior whip, for, uh, the whip for the government, uh, who uh, holds the proxies for various parties, has uh, not exercised the right for the Maori party, and that's quite proper. I call Grant Robertson. Mr Speaker, it's just a minor point. I just want to check with you. It is um, normal practice when not all votes are cast for uh, the clerk to ask if there are any other votes and I just is that not does that not apply when a party doesn't do that no well she asked she asked um, for the for the vote she asked for the Maori party and the Maori party didn't exercise the, their right and the whip who holds the proxy for the Maori party usually did not exercise that right so that point's covered so members this bill is set down for committee stage next sitting Children, oh, young persons and their families, Oranga Tamariki Legislation Bill, second reading. This bill is set down for committee stage next sitting day. Court, a point of order, Jamie Lee Ross. Firstly, Mr Speaker, I must apologise. I came in part way through, hence why I'm uh, breathing heavily from running. Um, the point the situation was the um, proxy holder myself was asked not to exercise proxies from a certain time. We've since been advised that the Māori Party is able to exercise proxies, so can I seek leave to cast two votes in favour of the mm. bill that's just been passed and have the <coughs> um, vote amended? Leave is sought for that purpose. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Then I'll ask the senior whip then uh, the vote, and I'll ask the clerk to ask the vote for the Māori Party, and uh, I'll ask the senior whip to, um, to uh, exercise that right. Amendments by majority, Māori Party? Uh, two opposed. And second reading, Māori Party? Two opposed. Oh. 
members, the votes now are for the, um, the amendments. Uh, the votes are the ayes are 60, the noes are 58, so the amendments are agreed to. And the vote on the second reading is that the ayes are 60 and the noes are 58, and the motion is agreed to on the second reading. Point of order, Chris Farfoy. Mr Speaker, my understanding is that we had, we had already voted and that the House can only correct the vote, not take the vote again, which, is, which no, I understand just no, happened. No, the uh, senior whip sought leave and there was no objection to the leave, and that's why I asked the clerk to ask what the Maori Party's vote was. We have that and I've now recorded what that vote is. There was leave sought, you could have objected to that if you wish, but the senior whip did seek leave. So that's, that's the end of the matter. Well, sorry, Mr Speaker, that wasn't my point. My point was that we'd already progressed past the point where the, the bill had been read, so it can only be corrected, not the vote taken again. Well, no, by leave, um, I'll just have to seek clarification. By leave, by leave, and I'm correcting what I've done. All right, um, members, we now move with... Um, uh, <coughs> I'm calling on government order of the day number three. Entity Verification and Border Processes Legislation Bill interrupted debate on second reading.